There are several basic types of numbers uh, which we are going to encounter, and we can group them into sets. The diagram you see here of the real number system, which incidentally is from this website, Homework Help Secrets, which if you follow this link, there's a good explanation of the definitions of all of these. I'm just going to talk you through some of the, the basic concepts which are illustrated here. This chart is a very common visual which shows us the different sets of numbers and what they include. If we start from the inside of the diagram, in particular with the natural numbers, that's kind of the, more funda the most fundamental set of numbers. The first numbers that you learn are usually natural numbers, or sometimes we call them the counting numbers, and that's simply one, two, three, four, whole numbers that can be used to count things. Uh, the set of whole numbers is almost exactly the same, except it also includes zero. Therefore, the whole numbers include zero along with the natural numbers. And in general, as we work our way out of the diagram, the bigger categories include the smaller ones there within. So anything which is a natural number is also a whole number. Anything which is a whole number is also an integer. When we talk about integers, we add the opposites of the natural numbers. So now we have 1 and negative 1. We have 2 and negative 2. So basically, we're including all the whole numbers along with their negative counterparts. Those are the integers. Notice at this point, we still don't include anything like 1 half or 3.5. The rational numbers are anything which can be written as a ratio or as a fraction. So we have a bunch of examples over here, but I will note that they don't always look like this. So I'm going to add to this diagram a few examples, which are things which can be written in this form as a ratio of integers, but are perhaps not initially written that way. So here I've added three more rational numbers, 3.2, uh, negative 1.75, and 0 0.6 repeating. These are all rational numbers because they can, they're not written as a fraction of two numbers, but they can be converted and written as such. For example, 0 0.6 repeating can be written as two-thirds. In fact, any repeating decimal can be written as a rational number. Our irrational numbers, on the other hand, are simply any uh, number which is not rational. So these are ones which, if they're expressed as a decimal, go on forever without repeating. A famous example being pi. It, when you write it as a decimal, it keeps going on forever without repeating. Also, the square root of many numbers, which are not perfect squares, I'm sorry, the square root of any number, which is not a perfect square, is going to be irrational. And the opposite of such numbers would be as well. So together, the irrational numbers and the rational numbers make up the real numbers. So we need to have the definitions for what each of these types of numbers are to, to better and uh, to fully understand what we're talking about when we talk about these kind of numbers. But this diagram gives us a good overall view and helps us to see the relations such as the fact that natural numbers are a subset of integers because the set of natural numbers is contained entirely within the set of integers. So I'd like you to take a few moments and make sure that you're familiar with and comfortable with this diagram and what it means. Thank you.